we have the special procurement key and in which scenario we need to use this special procurement key we use it for the cost estimate and cost update standard cost okay. estimate when we update so at that point of time we will be using this special procurement key in which scenario we need to use it so the okay. scenario is we have two plants and we have one material which is being manufactured in one plant and we yeah. are sending that material to the another plant so that uh, why we are sending it because ultimately the plant two is doing the consumption so we have a depot and for this depot we need to use this material ultimately uh, this is a production plant under which will be consuming or will be selling this material now it is saying that this material is being manufactured in the in the plant one and this manufacturing is being done on the behalf of plant two so under which plant that cost estimate for that material should happen so obviously the uh, cost estimate for the plant two under the plant two for that same material should happen for that for that uh, particular purpose we will be using the special procurement key it is saying that uh, uh, apart from this special procurement key so we have here it is saying that we have two plants we have plant one and plant two plant one is your supplying plant and plant two is your receiving plant why because this is sending the cost estimate to the plant and uh, because this plant one is doing the manufacturing on the behalf of the plant two so here it is saying that in the plant two so this is known as a receiver plant this plant will be receiving the cost estimate and the finished material or the semi finished material assigned to this plant will get updated from the costing standpoint that cost will get updated to it will get updated for your material assigned to the plant two so this is what we have here it is saying that plant uh, plant one why we can't do the cost estimate for the plant one because here the cost estimate for the plant one we can't do it is just manufacturing the uh, material and keep them keep those material ready for the plant two so that the plant two can do the selling and this plant two is dedicatedly for the selling only or the consumption so this plant is not doing any manufacturing so in that scenario we have this special procurement key so what are the prerequisites we have for that special procurement key cost estimate it is saying that what are the material you want to use whether it is a finish or semi finish so uh, this material should be assigned to both of these two plant supplying plant and receiver plant then we need to do the configuration in the plant one with respect to this uh, special procurement key and we will be assigning the special procurement key to the material maintained under the plant two so that is the receiver plant then we can have this we can uh, we can set up this relationship as special procurement key relationship and this link will be set up between the receiver and uh, supplying plant so how it will happen here we have maintained already a material this is the material we have already maintained and this material uh, i have linked to two plants so this is a plant 2187 and this is a plant 2188 now this plant 27 is my supplying plant because it will supplying plant it will be supplying the cost estimate and this is the receiving plant it will be receiving the cost estimate and finally the cost will get updated under this plan to one double it how it will happen it is saying that first of all as normal we need to have the material for the regular plant supplying plant and we need to take it till the cost estimate but we will not save it here it is saying that do not save the cost estimate so here we can go and check the cost estimate for the first plant that is the supplying plant go to the ck11 and we have here the material i'm using it is it is fgj 2187 plant id we have 2187 that is the supplying plant costing variant we will be using ppc1 and then let's see the cost estimate 
we can see here we have a cost estimate it is coming with the green indicator this value should uh, updated in the plant in the in the material assigned not to this plant but to the receiver plant for this what we need to do so we need to go to the material master of this uh, plant of this material and and that material will be maintaining or the changes will be doing for which plant for the receiving plant which is 2188 so we can go to the mm02 transition code we will make the changes basically we will be here in this step i have already extended this uh, uh, material to both of these two plant but what is the link i have left so i have left that assignment of special procurement key that i will be doing here right now so what we can do so for this material fgj2187 we need to select the we need to select the plant why because i want to update the cost estimate where you need to update that hello everyone welcome to our channel please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for the latest videos and notifications you can contact us for online sap trainings and certifications thank you special procurement key you need to go to the costing tab one and after that you need to give the plant id here i will be entering the receiver plant id so my receiver plant id is 21 enter under the quantity structure data in your costing tab one under the quantity structure data you will be able to find out a field called special procurement costing and in this you need to select here the option as 87 so 87 sp means this is a special procurement key we have already set up now we can just assign it press enter button and before this i also want to show you something so what do you do you can just open another screen and you need to just check this cost estimate for the plant 2187 what is the information we will have here let's find out go to the ck11 and one second but this time not for your supplying plant the supplying plant but for your receiver plant which is 2188 now let's find out the cost estimate you can just see the cost estimate is and it is coming in the red signal why because as of now we have not assigned the special procurement key so now i'm going to assign it click on the save option now we will come out of this cost estimate it is saying that do you want to save it no we can once again go back to the cost estimate so once again we can enter this time you can just see system is taking the cost estimate it is the same as the cost estimate you have uh, you have checked for your uh, supplying plant which is 2187 for the same material now this so what we need to do when we will be doing this special procurement costing uh, we need to take that material in the supplying plant and we need to check the costing and then we need to assign that special procurement key and after that system will start showing you the cost estimate in your receiver plant so if all the things are okay then we can click on the save option so we need to click on the save option and after that we can also go to the cost estimate within this cost estimate we can go to the quantity structure in the quantity structure here it will show you the special procurement uh, data so it is showing you that is the special procurement data it is p and this is for the plant so it is also showing you this uh, value it is uh, taking from where it is taking from the supplying plant which is 2187 then the sub special procurement key we have maintained it is 87 that is the id we have maintained if we just go down here okay so now we can we can uh, go back to do the cost update in the receiver plant and the process is same ck11 and we have already executed now what next we need to do so we need to go for the ck24 and we need to update this cost in the receiver plant so the period is 12 company code we can enter here 2187 and remember here you need to enter the receiver plant id which is 2188 2188 then if you want to enter the material you can enter the material as well so this is fjg 
2187. Now we can check it under the cost estimate. Click on the execute button. It is saying that one material pick 10 cost estimate uh, updated successfully. So we can check it with the without test run. So we can update it without test run. And for that, we need to go back. It is saying that this is the material we have picked. Now we can again go back. So this is the price which system is going to update in your receiver plant under the future plan price. So now I'm going to click on the back option. This time I will deselect the test run, click on the execute button. So here it is saying that it is saying that one material uh, cost estimate update successfully. We can check the material. So in order to check the material, we can we can go to the MM03 transaction code. This is the MM03 transaction code we have. And I'm going to select this material. So here under which uh, tab it will update your future price. Under the costing tab 2 it will update your future price. And uh, what is your plant ID? Your, your receiver plant 2188 you need to select it here. Here we will be selecting the receiver plant, which is 2188. Now press enter button. You can just see here the price 762 has been updated by the system for your for your material under which plant under the receiver plant. Now you want your your this price to be maintained as a release price, and for that you need to go for the release update. And for that we have here the same transaction code. CK24, but this time we can click on the release button. And this time also, if you want to check it with the test run first, you can test it with the test run first and then execute. And after that, it is saying that it is picked or it is updated successfully. Then we can go and process without test run. So this material got updated and cost estimated got updated successfully. We can go back now this time we can check the material and for that we need to select here once again MM03 and material will be having here it is FGJ2187 and this time we'll be selecting the tabs. It is a counting tab one and costing tab two because under these two tabs the system is going to update your price so here we have the plant as a receiver plant to you can just see here the standard price in your receiver plant 2188 it is upgraded as 762 if you want to find out your costing tab 2 within the same plant you click on the costing tab 2 so now you can just see your future price has been removed by system now your your this standard price has been upgraded under the current price so this is how we'll be able to uh, we'll be able to uh, get this uh, price update price updation done in the receiver plant and that is how we'll be able to make a use of the special procurement special procurement key and uh, what else we can see here we can also see this material information under the first plant under the material under the plant 2187 that is a supplying plant for this, we will again go back, and this time we will be checking it for the material for the plant that is the supplying plant 2187. Uh, here I will be having these two tab once again, accounting and accounting one and costing tab two. This time I am taking here the 2187. You will find out here no updation would have been done by system. Here, if you just go down 000. And here also under the costing tab you have here zero zero. Okay, so that is how we can make a use of the special procurement key. So if you want to do the uh, configuration for the special procurement key. So here we have the step number two where it is saying that you need to define the special procurement key and the path is product cost controlling. Then we have the PCP and then we have the material cost with quantity structure so we can follow this path go to the spro then go to the img after that we can go to the uh, controlling product cost controlling then we have product cost planning 
under this we will have the option material cost estimate with quantity structure and then we have the setting for the setting for the quantity structure material data and here you will find out the last option is check the special procurement type check special procurement type click on this and here you need to add your plant actually i have already added the plant okay now which add, which plant you need to add here you need to add here your receiver plant which is two two one double eight so we can check it click on the two one double eight so you can just see here i have already assigned the plant id as two one double eight when you will be mentioning your plant id the next field would be the special procurement key you have seen that when we have assigned in the receiver plant so at that point of time we have attached this special procurement key at seven and this is what system are just showing under the quantity structure so here we need to give the id this could be anything alphanumeric then we need to give the description after that we need to have here the special procurement type as e that is the in-house we have been given the other option as external procurement so if it is so then you can go for the f but if it is in-house then in that case you can select e after that we have the special procurement key id which is p that is standard given by the sap and this is what we have selected uh, in the material master of the receiver plant so you can just see it is saying that this is the p this is the uh, production for the other plant now we can close it and here we need to select the supplying plant here you will have the receiver plant here you will have the supplying plant after that you need to select this uh, checkbox as a bum bomb component direct production and direct procurement so you can select these check boxes and after that you can save it so this is the only uh, setting we have and apart from that what else yeah so what next we need to do actually if your material has not been extended to the receiver or to the supplying plant so you need to extend that material to the relevant plant thanks for watching this video you can like comment share also email us for more details thank you